64. Refugees are welcome here. Large crowds are out in force again across the country, protesting President Trump's executive order restricting travel to the U.S. from some majority Muslim countries. Now, the president defends the order, and one administration aide is calling it a massive success story. We have team coverage to start this newscast this afternoon. And of course, the big question on everyone's mind is, how will President Trump's order affect us here in the Gem State? We start with KBOI 2 Scott Logan. He has reaction from our congressional delegation. Response to President Trump's executive order from Governor Otter and Idaho's congressional delegation has been supportive overall, but some of them say President Trump could have rolled out this executive order in a less confusing way. Governor Butch Otter says President Trump's executive order is consistent with the governor's desire to improve vetting of refugees. In a statement, the governor says in part, we have been far too lax in enforcing our immigration laws and setting refugee admission standards. That must change. This order begins that process. In an updated statement, Senator Mike Crapo writes, he fully agrees with the president's intention to improve security at our borders. That said, he goes on, the way this order is implemented in the coming days and weeks may change as we've already seen unintended consequences. Representative Mike Simpson also expresses his support but echoes Crapo's concern about implementation. The administration could have and should have disseminated the details and enforcement guidelines in a more effective manner, he says, to minimize the unintended consequences of this change in policy. Representative Raul Labrador calls the order a necessary measure, but one lacking clear guidance. He says, inadequate review and poor implementation of this executive action threatens to undermine otherwise sound policy. So far, we have not heard from Senator Jim Risch. We have reached out to his office, but have not heard back yet. Live in the newsroom, Scott Logan, KBY2 News. Thanks, Scott. Now, there has been a lot of confusion about this executive order, so let's break it down. The order suspends for 90 days travel to the United States for people from these seven countries. There's the list. Iran, Iraq, Syria, Sudan, Libya, Yemen, Somalia. The order also suspends admission of refugees from all over the world for four months and Syrian refugees indefinitely. Now, some have called this a Muslim ban. However, there is nothing written in the order concerning the religion, and it does not single out people from other Muslim countries like Indonesia, India, and Pakistan, which, by the way, have the largest Muslim populations in the world. 